Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be going over problem 5 from the AIME 1 2021 paper, and I've adapted it ever so slightly, but most of the maths is exactly the same. Let me read out the problem, then I'll give you a chance to have a go at it, then I'll go over a solution. Okay, so we say that an arithmetic progression, so a sequence of numbers that follows this pattern here, so the first term is A, the second term is A plus D, where D is some number, the third term is A plus 2D, the, third ter the fourth term sorry, is A plus 3D, then A plus 4D, and so on. We call that sequence special if a and d are both integers and a squared plus a plus d squared plus a plus 2d squared, in other words, the sum of the squares of the first three terms is equal to a plus d times d squared. We want to find all special arithmetic progressions. Okay, so if you want to have a go at this problem, pause the video now and give it a go for yourself, and I'm going to jump straight into a solution. <laughs> Okay, so essentially what we want to do is find all integers a and d that satisfy this guy here. The first thing I'm going to do is a simple sort of substitution to make this look a little cleaner. I'm going to let u equal a plus d. So u is going to equal a plus d. And just plugging that back into this original equation here, we get that u minus d squared plus u squared plus u plus d squared is equal to u times d squared, like so. And now, of course, I can just expand this left-hand side here. u minus d squared and u plus d squared. I'm going to get a minus 2ud from here and a plus 2ud from here. So they're going to cancel. And then I'm just going to be left with u squared plus d squared, u squared plus d squared plus u squared. So that's 3u squared and 2d squared. So 3u squared plus 2d squared oopsie, equals u times d squared. Then bringing everything onto one side, I can get the, uh, 3u squared plus 2 minus u d squared equals 0. And then, of course, just rearranging this tells me that d squared is equal to minus 3u squared all over 2 minus u. But, of course, I can just write this if I multiply the top and bottom by minus 1, 3u squared over u minus 2. And then I'll leave this as an exercise to you. You can just check that if you uh, sort of long divide this, this is equal to 3u plus 6 plus 12 over u minus 2, like so. Okay, so we get the d squared is equal to 3u plus 6 plus 12 over u minus 2. Now, if you remember that u is just a plus d, and we're insisting that a and d are both integers, that tells me that uh, this right-hand side, sorry, that tells me that u is also an integer, but also we need that d is an integer, so d squared is an integer. So both of the uh, left-hand side and right-hand side must be integers. Because d squared is an integer, u is an integer, so 3u is an integer, 6 is an integer, so that tells me that this guy here must be an integer. So u minus 2 must be a factor of 12, be it positive or negative. So we're going to have to check some cases there. But let me clean up the whiteboard and then we'll continue. Okay, so we just showed that if we do the substitution u equals a plus d, we then get that d squared is equal to 3u squared over u minus 2, which is the same thing as 3u plus 6 plus 12, mi 12 over u minus 2. And we made the argument then that u minus 2 has to be a factor of 12. But if you just have a look at this thing here, we have that d squared is equal to 3u squared over u minus 2. d squared is not negative, 3u squared is not negative. So that tells us that u minus 2 must be strictly positive. So u minus 2 is a positive factor of 12. So, and of course, u minus 2 is an integer. So we have that u minus 2 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, or 12. Okay, and that, of course, is the same as saying that u is equal to 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, or 14. So now what we're going to do is just plug each of these values of u into this guy here and see if we can get a square number out of it. So that will give us a value for d. Okay, so the first one, uh, u equals 3. Let's just plug that in. When u equals 3, we get the d, sorry, we get the d is equal to um, 3 times 3 squared over 3 minus 2. Well, 3 minus 2 is just 1. So we're just going to get 3 times 3 squared, which is 27. But in particular, that's not a square number. So that's not going to give us an integer solution, so we don't care about it. When u equals 4, we get 3 times 4 squared divided by 4 minus 2. So 3 times 4 squared is 3 times 16, which is 48. Divided by 4 minus 2 is dividing by 2, which is 48 over 2, which is 24. So again, that's not going to give us any integer solutions for d. When u equals 5, we're going to get 3 times 5 squared divided by 5 minus 2. What's quite nice is the 5 minus 2 on the denominator is 3, which cancels with the 3 on top, so we're just left with 5 squared, which of course is 25. Okay, 
And so that's going to give us, well, notice it's going to give us two values for d because we get the plus and the minus root. Okay, when u equals 6 now, we get that, um, what am I doing? Ah, yeah, plugging that back into there. Uh, 3 times u squared is 3 times 6 squared is 3 times 36, which is uh, 108. Divide that by 4, 108 divided by 4 gives us 27. So that gives us d squared is 27, which of course is no integer solutions. When u equals 8 now, we're going to get that 3 times 8 squared, which is 64. Divide that by uh, 8 minus 2, which is 6, so 64 times, uh, sorry, 3 times 8 squared is 3 times 64, which is uh, 192. Divide that by 6 is going to give us 32, but that's not a square number, so that's fine. And when we look at the case u equals 14 now, we're going to get uh, 3 times 14 squared, which is 3 times 196, which is 588. Divide that by 12, and you're going to get 49. And that's the square number. So d squared is 49. And that gives us another solution where, where d is plus or minus 7. So all in all, we have a total of four solutions, or four uh, special arithmetic regressions, namely... Um, uh, what am I looking at? U equals 5 and D equals plus or minus 5. And then U equals 14 and D equals plus or minus 7. But if you go back to what that means here, that means that A is equal to... Um, so if D is equal to 5, then U is A is equal to 0. Okay. If D is equal to minus 5, then A is equal to 10. And if d is equal to minus 7, then that means that u, uh, sorry, a has to be uh, 21. And then if d is equal to 7, then we get that a is equal to 7. Okay, so that gives us a, a total of four arithmetic progressions, which are also special, and those are the only ones. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.